Hi, good morning everyone. So my name is Faith Garcia Valencia and welcome back to my channel. So now let me introduce myself to you. So my name is Faith Nga. So I'm currently employed at the Department of Education at San Pablo Second National High School. And I'm currently teaching Research 1, which is the qualitative research. Okay, so for today's vlog, I'm going to teach you uh, what is a research. So research. So what do you hear or what comes into your mind when you hear the word research? So most of my students, they say that mahira, kasi nga, uh, it, it needs a lot of knowledge when it comes to writing. At the same time, uh, kailangan magaling ka sa math when it comes to quantitative research. So for the qualitative research, it doesn't need a lot of numbers naman, pero it's more on what they call this, mas mahirap siya uh, kesa sa quanti. Kasi quantitative, from the word quanti, it means to say, um, numbers, statistics, like that. So, bakit mas mahirap yung qualitative research? Kasi, uh, for me, based on my experience, uh, qualitative research is more on the interpretation, own interpretation of the researcher. So, mas mahirap siya dodoosin kasi uh, kapag nagkamali ng interpretation yung researcher, it means to say, it will lead to a wrong conclusion. So, kailangan uh, when you interpret uh, the documents or the data that you have gathered from your respondents, it should be 100% correct. Uh, like for an example, <clears throat> nung uh, meron tayong project sa Philippines, I guess, Maxine Medina, isn't it? Um, uh, she is the first Filipina uh, Miss Universe uh, Philippines na gumamit ng interpreter. Okay, so the questions was asked to the interpreter and the interpreter uh, interpreted it the way he understood it. So what happened? Uh, nagkamali ng pagkakaintindi si Maxon Medina. So she answered uh, a very far answer from the, from the question. So that led to uh, the pagkatalo ng Pilipinas. So, just, just the same with a qualitative research. Kapag mali yung interpretation mo, magkakamali yung, um, yung conclusion mo sa, sa research mo. So, you have to really make sure that uh, your interpretation is 100% correct. Okay. okay. So, bakit nga ba mas madali yung quantitative research? Uh, para sa akin, mahirap din naman siya. Especially when it comes to calculation. Kasi kung mali yung calculation mo, then magkakamali din yung um, interpretation mo ng mga data. So, it should be correct. 100% correct. Pero kung magaling ka naman sa math, meron ka naman makakatulong or ma mahihinga ng tulong when it comes to computation. So, there would be no problem. Kasi kung 0 0.01 yan or negative 1, you can easily interpret it. So, kung negative 1, maybe your business is, kung it's a business research, like a negative, or it falls into a negative data. So, it means to say na bumabagsak or tagilid yung business. But, but, but if it's positive, so it means to say na maganda yung takbo ng business. Like, so, it's easier to understand or it's easier to interpret numbers that are already calculated than to interpret uh, a qualitative research, which is <coughs> you have to interpret uh, those words that the respondents have said. Mas mahirap yun kasi kung mali yung pagkakainterpret mo, mali yung pagkakaintindi mo ng pagkakasabi niya, so it will lead to a disaster. So that's it guys. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you have, you have enjoyed this uh, uh, video. And I hope to see you again soon on my next videos. And I will teach you the preliminaries of qualitative research. So sa preliminaries, pag-aaralan natin yung title page, approval page, um, dedication, acknowledgement, and the abstract. So these are the first part of a research before you will lead or you will go to chapter 1 to 5 ng research. So stay tuned for my next video and I hope to see you again next time. Goodbye!